Ha! <sighs> Hello everyone, and I know I'm not gaming today or anything like that, and, well, there's, I just wanted to make one more video, because that was kind of just my thoughts on Planet X, but I did a little bit of research on it, and, <laughs> well, here we go. So, if you remember that video in Africa, like where they saw that weird ring and they thought it was a planet, well, here we go. Here we go, uh, ring around sun. And if you can see this, this is an optical phenomenon. It is the halo. Yes, all right. <laughs> it's called a, ming, a moon ring or a winter halo. It forms as the sun or the moonlight is refracted in millions of hexagonal ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. Please. All right. I know I can see why you would think that that's a planet. All right. I could see, you know. I. But what what does what wouldn't make any sense at all is we would be if that was an actual planet, we would be seeing that every single day. Every single day, it would look like that, and it would look more planety, and the gravitational pull from that would also be ta sucking in the sun and pulling it towards it, because that's, if you can see that on a scale, that is obviously more massive than the sun, which means it has more mass than the sun. Alright? So, if anything, we should be revolving around it at this point, because obviously something with that size gravitational field would be humongous and it would have burned us up by now probably put our sun out and we would all be fucking dead all right sorry for the for the um swearing and then we're gonna look up lens flare what is a lens flare you might ask oops okay so there's many things that can come up when you get a lens flare and someone posted a video and actually I will show that video right now of a lens flare coming up in one of the videos so we're gonna click on this as you can see what's right above there is not what you think it is that is not a planet this is simply a lens flare you see how these two lines are going right up here Okay, that is actually just a reflection of light. And you can see how actually, sorry about the sound, but when the clouds go over, you can still see the flare over the clouds. So I'm sorry to say, but that is simply the lens making a flare. This is not a planet, whoever said that. Please do a little bit more research on that. And we're going to go over this one video really quickly. So credit to space kills, and this is why lens flares are not a second sun. Millions of astronomers would have seen it closing in for centuries. That's so true. Another star could have caused heavy disruptions to all orbits, just like I just said. Uh, it would have fired us to a crisp, yeah, like I said, it's always near the sun. If you film the sun and cover it, whatever object will disappear instantly. If you rotate your camera, the object won't rotate. So as I was saying, that lens flare thing that you guys are seeing is not really there. It is all in your head. It is... What these people are doing is they're creating fear. They're creating a panic. And then other people are following the herd. The herd mentality. So they'll start making videos realizing it, that, that it's getting them attention. And then maybe these people also do believe in it, but they're not doing their research enough. You see... I have been into this stuff since I was young, and I was in honors classes and stuff like that for physics and astronomy. You see, there are these phenomenons that happen that can't be explained. And going off philosophy, people tend to create religion and create their own backstories to things to fi to try to figure out in their minds because that's what their minds do to figure out why those phenomenons are happening because the brain doesn't know how to register the unknown all the time it, it makes up its own ways so let's say you see a ghost 
your brain will go into a whole bunch of, you know, things that it could be. What, what did I just see, you know? So let's say that you're a heavily religious person. The first thing you might think, because that's what's been implanted into your brain this whole entire time, is that, you know, it's an actual ghost. Then other people who may be less religious and more scientific may go towards the fact that maybe it was some sort of optical illusion or maybe something else that they could have explained through something else. And this is where religion plays a heavy role. Religion, in my eyes, is not a bad thing in all circumstances, but religion causes fear. It causes fear because people use and abuse religion to cause this fear. But also, people use religion to get rid of fear. And um, we're going to actually look at Planet X. So there is no real photos of Planet X, first off. Uh, Born Dwarf or Super Earth. Uh, yeah, so people always say that there was some gravitational pull where I was doing. So maybe there is a gravitational pull. Maybe there is a Planet X. But this planet X is not heading towards us. You see, with these photos, again, that I'm going to say, with these photos that what are these people are showing us are ten times bigger than the sun itself. Does that make much sense to you? Why we would not be seeing that and why that wouldn't be completely eclipsing our sun? Hmm? I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Another thing, when Planet X, they say, supposedly, if this Planet X comes towards the Earth, by the time it was in a certain radius of us, we would already be being hit by multiple meteorites. Multiple. Not one, not two little small ones. No, it would be an asteroid belt along with it. And so far, we haven't seen any asteroid belt within... <laughs> the distance of us to our moon, to our sun, so far, it's more far out. And yes, there is asteroid belts, and um, they are close-ish, but they're stuck in something's gravitational pull already, and we have not seen that anywhere near us that will put us in danger. Well, we have seen meteorites, rogue meteorites, that have gone past us, of course. I mean, we know that one that was like the size of a football stadium. I'm not sure if you guys remember that. That was an interesting one. So that stuff can happen. There are rogue meteorites. But I don't know why we keep blan blaming things on these planets like Planet X and stuff like that. See, let me let me bring something into this. So in 2012, it was there was going to be this huge apocalypse. Uh, there was going to be a meteorite that was just going to just wipe out the entire Earth. All right. In 2000, it was going to be the computers. The computers were going to end the world. And all before that, people for decades and decades and decades and decades would always find things that they didn't understand and think that that was the end. So let's say that the next solar eclipse, people used to think. People used to think that these solar eclipses would mean something horrible was coming, that the, that the end was coming. People didn't know that. And that's the only way that they could say those things. I mean, these things are so silly. People, this is almost as... Silly is saying the earth is flat. The thing is, is you are right to have your own opinion. Anyone can have their own opinion. But please, voice your opinion to yourself and don't cause unnecessary fear in a world that already has enough to be fearful about. Like overpopulation. Okay? World War Three, or some sort of virus outbreak. We don't need to be thinking about anything else right now because we need to be thinking about ourselves and about growing as people and expanding our knowledge so that we can prevent things that are actually coming, that we know for a fact are coming, instead of focusing on these fantasies that we have no idea what is real or not? Would you rather be preparing for something that, you know, can happen and living your life to the fullest or focusing on your little fantasies? And I'd like to say that that's pretty much all. All right. Thank you. Bye.